I have been making games as a hobby, say, for five or six years and just failing horribly to finish things. Uh, the first four years of that are like two now abandoned projects that were too big. Um, and I was you know, building my own engine, making all the stupid mistakes everyone makes. And then last year, because of one game a month, I started working on smaller projects, things you can finish in one weekend, generally, uh, within a month. And that completely changed how I, how I work. I felt much more confident in actually finishing things. Yeah, so my name's Colm Larkin, and I'm running a company called Gambrinus. Uh, it started out as basically just me, but now there are a total of four of us uh, in a variety of places around the world. So there's me and Owen here in Ireland, and then uh, Fred in Sydney, and Steve in Amsterdam. So we're, we're kind of remote. Oh, cool. So what's the last year been like for Gambrinus? Well, at the start of this year, there was no Gambrinus. So this has been a formative year. Um, so it's kind of come on out of a game I'm working on called Guild of Engineering, just started in my free time last year. And this year I gave up my job, I went full time on it. Uh, I was already working with Fred on it. And in the last couple of months then, the, uh, you know, Owen and Steve have joined. So it's kind of starting to build up steam. Um, very different year for me. If I look back on the whole of 2014, it's mad. I went to GDC, I just took holidays from my job, I went to GDC last March. It's the first time I went, it was kind of amazing. Uh, a month later I gave up my job, um, put the game on Steam Greenlight, got approved in May, uh, and then I was working full time on it by myself, working, 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 and kind of like when the game was gonna be finished, just kept getting further away. Um, so it was kind of working out you know, what I can do and how long it takes and how much game I want to make. Um, then I got into an uh, Enterprise Ireland fund called New Frontiers. It's essentially paid me for six months and all kinds of startup training is involved in that. And that was brilliant, so that's just finished. Uh, and during that, I basically managed to um, get Owen to join, he's helping with programming, and Steve to do the soundtrack. So it's kind of all coming together. And now we're kind of doing a deal with a publisher to um, launch the game a lot bigger than we would by ourselves. Um, so that's kind of come together at the moment. Have you been to any like Irish events throughout the year? Or? Yeah, um, I help run a kind of low-key meetup group called One Game One Game a Month Dublin. So there's a really cool idea called One Game a Month, and we just have a meetup where people showcase kind of games they've made at game jams, prototypes, even just games made specifically for One Game a Month. So I go to that. Well, that's every month. Uh, I love going along to Dubludo as well. It's another kind of show off your games, uh, meet other other devs. Um, I went to ArcadeCon in uh, sometime during the summer. Um, it's kind of a funny mix of cosplaying, comics, some games. So that was probably the only actual show I was at in Ireland. Were you showing anything? Or just yeah, yeah, I brought, brought the game along. Um, so my way of building the game is that it's always playable. Um, I've been sharing it online since last October and just prototyping and iterating. Um, so anytime there's anything on, I can just bring it along and show. <clears throat> it's just brilliant for getting feedback and kind of seeing, seeing players' first time interaction with the game, which is really hard to get right when you're you know, so deep into the game yourself.